the Kenya 50 Secretariat identified and approached the uh, Safaricom Foundation for possible funding because we had already earlier um, approached uh, the Ministry of uh, Housing under the Directorate of Public Works to assess the cost of the project, which was put at an estimated 60 million. So when Safaricom Foundation were approached by the Secretariat for the Kenya at 50, um, coincidentally there was already an existing uh, you know, relationship between uh, uh, the hospital <coughs> and the Safaricom <coughs> Foundation, having earlier grant, you know, given us a grant of four million. So this is how the relationship started with the Safaricom Foundation for this Kenya at 50 legacy project. I think uh, we have continued to push through, and very recently we had some response from Safaricom. And we were also honored very much to have the first lady coming in to share in some of these uh, problems of ours. We felt really honored when Safaricom actually uh, pledged to give us some money to help us expand both space and also the services in terms of getting us more equipment. More so when uh, we had the first lady come uh, who officially received uh, the, the 50 million grant for this project. So I think by Safaricom being um, with us, standing with us and uh, improving this institution and having also you know, the first lady who uh, I am reliably informed has also mental health uh, you know, in, uh, in uh, her heart. And I think it was really great to to be there to witness, you know, uh, the occasion when she was here. This is an initiative that we are really looking forward to. Should it uh, materialize, I'm sure we will be a very happy team. The biggest beneficiary being the newborn baby with complications. Mm -hmm. So that if we shall be able to have more of these babies get their intensive care services, which is ventilation by machine, mm -hmm. more preterm babies getting more space in terms of new incubators, an additional number, so that the issue of sharing is also a bit shared. The, the goodwill from Safaricom has been outstanding right, right from the beginning when they were approached. And uh, when they sent a team here and saw the need for us to improve our facility, their response was overwhelming. And uh, we were also pleasantly, you know, surprised uh, that uh, uh, that they had ag agreed to fund the Kenya at 50 Secretariat for the projects that we, uh, for this project that we, we had identified with the Secretariat of Kenya at 50. This project is a Kenya at 50 legacy project and the name is a renovation of a newborn unit at Kenyatta National Hospital. Uh, the work involved includes the renovation of this uh, ward, which is a children's ward. And basically, the major works include uh, repainting the major the, the walls and um, uh, doing the new floor and PVC tiles. We are also creating a new ward to accommodate more children. And um, above all, we are also doing uh, mechanical ventilation systems and air conditioning, so that is part of the project. And the huge budget actually is on equipment, which is the medical equipment to support the newborn unit, the newborn uh, children. Considering the challenges that we have had, and like I've mentioned, the two main ones are space and uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. As you may be able to recall, recently we had uh, some crisis in the country, like. Uh, healthcare staffs going on strike. That meant that all the newborn babies with complications had to be rushed into the Kenyatta National Hospital newborn unit. And of course we had to receive them and then look for solutions. Uh, we did receive them, we looked for solutions and the management came in and uh, some of the machines which you can see which are still new were bought and that has helped a lot to ease a little some of those challenges. 
Yeah, I just want to thank Safaricom for um, uh, giving us a, you know, uh, uh, like upscaling the grant. You can imagine from 4 million to 50 million. Uh, this is a great commitment by, by Safaricom. And uh, I would want to thank the management of Safaricom and um, the Safaricom uh, Foundation. Uh, I think uh, led by Sandow Jambo, who I think is in the corporate and social responsibility section. We've worked very closely with her in this project. And uh, the consultants, various consultants for Safaricom, who we were with in, uh, you know, making the assessments, making sure that everything is done right. Um, the ministry headquarters, uh, the, our hospital staff, the various heads of departments who, uh, who worked together for in this project. We are hoping that uh, when it starts, um, we'll all be together. And uh, when it is uh, commissioned, it will be a great moment for this hospital and a, leg a legacy as it is meant to be.